Yeah. <laughs> We're live. and welcome back to my channel Lucy Curios. Tonight I'm here with my friends Caffeinated Christy and Cha Cha. And then Miranda is I don't know where but she's coming. <laughs> and I hope you guys are all having a fantastical evening. There she is. So here's your energy for the night. <laughs> Yo and she comes in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just listened to one of my favorite songs and I'm pumped out. Are we already live? Yeah, dude. I did dude. the countdown. I did do, 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 do. I thought you had to go get coffee. I did. No oh, man, nine o'clock. She goes live. Can't be late. No, I'm on time. Hi. Teresa. Hello, Teresa. Teresa. Hey, Carol's chaos. Oh. Hello, Carol. Congratulations. Denise, Denise. Okay, cool. Oh, and just a reminder, um, anybody that has not paid their invoice yet, it is the end, end of the, you know, April. So I do expect that before any more bids. I have no problem on for your stuff. I just like, you know, your payments to be caught up to this point because, you know. I'm paranoid like that. So, and that's how I like to run my business. If that makes sense. I hope that didn't sound right. That's the right words, right? Okay. She's so organized and stuff. Yeah. And for me, uh, you're getting your invoice eventually. <laughs> Hopefully tonight or tomorrow. By tomorrow, definitely. Okay, well, hold on. We have a celebration in the house. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm catching up. I'm getting everything done tonight. So if you don't hear anything back from me tonight, send me an email because it will be done. I will be done. Um, I am waiting on more bubble wrap, but if you're already packed, it's going. I mean, most everybody went out Saturday and tracking was uploaded if you had paid me by the first, the 31st. And then I think I have a few people I'm waiting on more bubble wrap to come in. Should be here in a couple of days, though. So. What am I looking for? Hi, Teresa. Oh, comments. That's what I want because we have a celebration, guys. What really? What happened? Yay! Oh, nice. Good job, girl. <laughs> girl, I just watched. I just realized that video on like Facebook was Carol. The one she made of like how she goes to auctions and then she has to pay the invoices. I know, I saw that. <laughs> Carol, you look really cool. You look like a really cool person. Hey, hey, Teresa, can't wait to have you back Teresa. on again. Babette says, Howdy, Christy. I also would like everybody to know that in the description, it's really long. But I have put Christy, our moderator, in there, and it has the online stores that she sells her stuff on. It's um, eBay, Macari, and Poshmark, and she has some great things. So, you know, she helps us out all the time. She mods for you guys. She mods for us. So, if you go, at least visit her store and follow her and, you know, if you see anything you like, you can support her in that way. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> Well, you know, support supports these small business people. Um, Gina Fancy. She loves Lana with some three hearts. Christy does. Christy does a lot for us. Gina Bogina, because we call her Lana Banana. <laughs> Down this penny. 
or is Penny by another name that I don't know of? Is Babette Penny? Oh no, Penny Forshi. Hey girl, how you doing? Hey Sally Koska. Oh, look, Gina says hello. I said hello above to all you ladies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the sweetest, calmest person ever. One time, um, I pretended that she got really bad, but it was actually a made up story in my mind. Hey, New England thrifter. Uh, New England thrifter. I don't know if I know anybody from New England. You sound familiar. Very familiar. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. And this is Cha Cha, if y'all haven't met her already, but I think everybody knows who she is. Bro, I am right thing. Thing. The first thing you said when you said this is, the only thing I thought of was that song where they're like, this is the story of the world. Who cried away the whole world. I thought you were talking about that rap song. This is. Now I don't know the next one. <laughs> and Cha Cha has, you know, I, I'm sure on her homepage for her YouTube channel, she has her eBay links and Miranda as well. Or you know, whatever platforms they sell on. So I can always find those there. Yeah, you can pretty much um, type the Junkin Data Girl and, and you'll find me. Yeah. She's she's famous. I'm famous. <laughs> oh my You're gosh, Teresa. <laughs> what did you say? Shut Who's YouTube link? Everybody's link not in the description by bet. So all you gotta do is scroll down there and click on the link. How are you gonna introduce everybody but me? I did well, not done introducing me first. You talk about the rumor. Turd. Mm -hmm. this. Everybody in chat, say I if you were a witness to me doing this and talking about Miranda. I must have been across the room. I did not notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You took my spotlight time. I know I did. I didn't mean to. God, all the time. I know. I suck. Don't subscribe to me. Subscribe to Cha Cha. Yeah. <laughs> um, Elizabeth's in here. Or me, Elizabeth. I'm just curious a piece of furniture. Uh, where is it? Where's my camera? Gina is with her boyfriend tonight, I assume, because otherwise he would be here with us. They have, you know, spend time together as a um, family sometimes. Hey, gotta have movie night to the book. Yeah. They, he works, I think he works a lot of nights, so their schedules are all, you know. Uh, who's going oh, first? Mm. Yes, go first. Cha Cha's looking for something. I don't think she's I, ready. I can if you want me to. I got one thing left to wrap, and I can wrap that after this. I thought I had everything wrapped on my table, and okay. then I came across some like freaking ceramic stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna wrap that. So. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. To okay. Me. I picked some weird stuff for you guys tonight. I did not pay attention to the chat to see who's here, but hello, everybody. I love you. Let's start off. I know Lana Banda B by Boban is here, so let's do the moose salt and pepper shakers that I have because they are cute. Gently grab them. Oh, no, the sticker fell off. <laughs> it's a $12 start for these guys. One has the bottom and one does not. And they are from... West Yellowstone, Mon Montana. My sticker doesn't want to stay and it's pissing me off. That's oh, nice. it's from it. Yellowstone Park. You can't say pissing on my channel. We'll get demonetized for the money we're not monetized for. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep, you guys. Sorry. So here's the one. And he's got like these big doe eyes. He's super cute. He doesn't have his stopper. There's no scuffs or anything. <clears throat> I mean, Chip. Is Bowen Cole from Yellowstone? Yes. 
Jelly stone. Jelly stone. Jelly stone. Okay. Um, that does look like Rocky. It does. Those are cool. And here they are. I saw them as I was leaving. I was leaving um, the store and they were hiding on a shelf with wedding stuff by the front door. And I was like, what is that? And I went over there and I was like, oh, these are mine. And I grabbed them and put them in my cart. And the lady behind me was like, <laughs> and I was like, wow, well, I'm checking out now. I don't know why she had such an attitude. Apparently she saw them from across the store as well. Oh, All the light cool here in it. She was like, how dare you? Right? My bad. So Lana in at 12. If there's no other interest, you can call it to my, my Bobana. My Bobana. Um, so whatever you guys get tonight, I'm, I'm not going to like try to force in your boxes, but if you have like room in your box, I'll put it in there basically is how that's going to happen. But I'm packing up everyone's boxes right now. And I do mean boxes because most of you guys have to do. So that's fun. Good time. Are we sold? Sold to Lana for 12. Yes, ma'am. My Lana Babana. Okay. Um, I don't know if Maury's in here, but some other ladies might think this is pretty cool. This is made in Japan, and it is a cork top bottle. Um, probably a perfume bottle is what it was, and it says V6 on the bottom. This one is a $20 start. It's a beautiful lady. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? It's not something that's for everybody, but it is really cool. Let me gently get this cork out of here. I don't know if I spelled Geisha right, but we know what it means. Yeah, close enough. A little head. Just be careful because the cork is old, so it is, um, you have to wiggle it back and forth. It doesn't just like come, come in and out. They had another one at the store, but I broke it, which is why I didn't grab it. But I should have bought it anyways because I could have glued it on. Oh my God. But it is super cool. I like her a lot. She is. Shell sitters, you know, they look really cool. Well, and you could use it to, you could put your perfume in there if you wanted to. That's fancy. Talk about, yeah. Not trying, what do you think about that, a figural perfume? Oh, yeah, I think I saw, let me see. Oh, yeah, she's cool. I've never seen anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, she's got that G6 on the bottom. I don't know if that, like, that pertains to something, but. G6, G6. Dude, isn't, that's like a song, right? Yeah. yeah. Like a G6. All right, I'll bring it back up later if no one's interested in it now. Thank you, mis amigos. All righty, Cha Cha Marie, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, everybody's middle name's Marie in Louisiana. <laughs> I'll give you yeah. cousins' middle names. I'm going to start out small. I got a hat, a hot plaque, combination wall plaque and table hot pack pad. It's just a miniature one. It's um, I guess I'll just do five dollars. Red and green. Oh, it's tomatoes in the jar. And the back. Is that a cutting board? I'm sorry, I missed what she said. It's like a, a trivet tray, like a hot plaque. It says oh, um, really? it's heat resistant, plastic finish, will stand to heat up to 500 degrees, makes perfect table protecting pad or hot dishes from oven to stove. Plastic finish also resists grease, so it's easy to wipe down. So like a trivet or wall art. <laughs> and you're for Christy again? I'm sorry, what? What was your start for Christy one more time? Five. 
I, I was probably talking over you or something. <laughs> that looks like it would go great in like a um, retro kitchen if somebody's, you know, yeah. uh, decorating from the 70s. Mm -hmm. so yeah, no, we can. Uh, I always used to like those little tiles. I sit them against the back splash of our kitchen. Can't oh, wow. I don't uh, really use Mr. Events. <laughs> Okay. It's like, oh my gosh, I got hot cookies. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, if no one's um checking it out, I, I can pass it. If I had the money, dude. Hey, so what? If, mm -hmm. I said if I had the money, dude. I don't right now. Okay. <laughs> um. The next is a lot of um, candy boxes, I guess, or gift boxes. It's a total of seven of them. And um, we'll start out at $10 for it. So we got bear. And these are from about 1998. Oh my God, those are adorable. <laughs> and then two of these like Christmas ones. Oh my God. On their vintage, yes. Oh, here's a bear. Oh my god, you that is so cool. They're like old oh. happy meal boxes, but they're nineties friggin' holiday prints. There's a rabbit. Yeah. Um, it says Gibson Greetings Company, nineteen ninety-eight, so and then so you get two of these little chicks. Look how adorable. This one has these. I like this one. Oh, they, my are, God. they look like they're having fun. Yeah. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I totally want to get that for Sarah from. Um, there are a few girls, but she's gonna kill me because I'm sure she has a ton of stuff in her house. <laughs> don't care. I'm just gonna send it over there and be like a symbolage. This. <laughs> well, you know, even if you don't use them as gifts, like if you put them on your shelf, filled up with stuff. I can't. They're cute. Yeah, they're cute. And put they're cookies cute. in this one. Yep. Put jelly cute. beans in this one. Yep. They're reusable. You could just put them in a Ziploc, stick it in there, and nothing would be hurt. You know, you could just reuse it. Yes. Is anybody interested in them? You will never, well, you might run across those again, but probably will not. And those are awesome. I do have more somewhere in here, but I haven't gotten to it yet. All right, that's my two. It's like barely an entry. Lana says 10 for my journal. Ah, yes. Oh, Lana, you do your journaling? You do journaling? I, I'm i a journal person. So she, I think she wants those boxes to journal All right. up, girl. Thank you, Lana. Boxes. All right. My, my art room is going to be happening next week, so I have tons. I'm Being a mixed media artist, I have tons of stuff you can throw together and make stuff. This time. Okay. We are so to Lana. Yay. Thank you, Lana. It looks like I need to wipe my camera lens. All I have is... Okay. Well, that light behind you is on. You should turn I it off. To. I need to. I should. Okay. This is a beautiful hand painted plate. It appears to be magnolias, but the inside's yellow and usually, my, I guess they're usually got, I don't remember what color their like center part is. I remember it's usually like red matchstick looking things. So I don't know. Oh, that looks so much like gardenias. It is gardenias. Oh my God, yes. They attract those little bugs, but I love them. Anyway, it is signed M. Ponder, 
and it's e 1971 i believe i do not believe it was 1911 <laughs> and um it's just a really gorgeous for pretty piece five dollars and hello to everybody i miss saying hello to i'm i'm i wasn't paying attention to the chat i'm sorry <laughs> And it's got um, pretty shades of pinks and blues and stuff around the florals. Um, and they have to use like antique Victorian plates usually on these. This is ceramic. So they paint it and they put it in a kiln. So it's um, white clay. Yeah, I love gardenia too, Anna. And while y'all are thinking about that one, just let me know in the chat if you would like it. Um, my next item is this beautiful plate by Nortaki. And it's hand-painted, made in Japan. And it is a pretty awesome, like, it's got double handles, a really pretty floral motif on there. It's got nice um, gilding and... On the handles, well, it's not nice. It's kind of wearing away, but it's old and nice trim around the side. And I'm going to start this bad boy off at $8. And again, it's for pretty or nice. You wouldn't eat on this bad boy. But... And I don't know. You can just tell the older pieces. The way, the way they're made. And so these are my two plates for this evening. If you're interested in either of these, just let me know. Mm -hmm. I love the one of the handles in my kit painted. Looks really cool. That's the first time I've wanna run across one like this. Like they find these in the I guess the east and the northeast and the midwest a lot. Stuff like that, but we don't find a lot here. All right, I'm gonna throw it on back to Miranda. I'm um, ready. You so ready? Have, yeah, except I have a giant freaking knot in my hair. All right, I found some beautiful uranium glass. Get my flashlight. This is a twenty dollars start. It's kind of a it's like a milky kind of custardy look. Like a greenish, yellowish. <clears throat> Here it is without black light. Here it is with. All right, let me go turn off the rest of the lights. <laughs> I thought I could do it. It's going to be so dark. Okay, you ready? It glows. What do you think, Cha Cha? It's cool. I love it. Ooh. Yeah. This is the gem I found. Now I can't see anything. So that's a twenty dollars start if anyone's interested. Yeah. All right. I hope nobody missed it. <laughs> Alright, 
Oh, yeah. And you said it looks like custard uranium black. That's what I was gonna call it, but I didn't want to. Um... It's custard glass. I think does all custard glass have uranium in it? Because I've never found any that doesn't. Oh, and it's marked uh, "Made in the USA," and then it has a uh, like an eagle right here. And then there's a bubble in it too, if that matters to you guys right here. The bubble. Yeah. It's got a weird bubble. I think it's a cute bubble. All right, are we passing that guy? Looks like it so far. Okay. I'll show everything at the end again, so it's not a big deal. I have everything like laid out in front of me. This is this was made in Italy. Uh and it's a cat and it says a tentai algato. And it hangs on the wall. And it's just a nice ceramic cat. It's a ten dollar start. Ceramic and enamel. And then here's the back. Sorry, I'm moving so much. <laughs> My C button still doesn't want to work. Oh, Lord. That's just that. A tinte, a tinte al gato. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's my best try. Just a cute little Italian kitty. All right, friends. That was my two. All right. Thank you, Miranda. If any of you guys would like one of those things and let us know in the chat. Okay. Um, next up, I have these, this pair of little candle holders, and they're beaded, and they've got red beads, they have- Carolyn! Sorry, I just think Carolyn was here. Hey, Carolyn! Hey, Maury! Carolyn, the, guess what I found? I found they, another crystal they, pedestal dish. They have the little dishes inside for the candles, and um, they're going to be an $8 start for the pair. They're beaded? Yes. And oh, those are cool. Metal bottom. Um, and somebody wrote in Sharpie on them. But I will try to remove that for you. I don't know if it'll work. Metal I know how to get it off. Do you have any um, markers, like, for the dry erase boards? I do. Okay. Well, I'll show you afterwards. <laughs> okay. I've heard that for some things, but I'm not sure if it works. Yeah, I've done it. Gritty Gret is lurking. Hey, Gritty Gret. Hello. I see Lana at eight. Would anyone like to come in at nine? If not, just type pass and we'll be on to the next item. I thought Cha Cha goes after you or goes after me. Did I just skip you, Cha Cha? It's okay. Min my middle name is Skip, but that's okay. Uh -huh. You go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. Sorry, it's okay. No. Really, I'm honestly, I wasn't ready. I was just go ahead. I, I slept for an hour and a half, and that was about an hour and a half ago. It's okay. I was invoicing and packing and changing tires and all that great stuff. All right, looks oh. like we sold to Lana for $8. I don't see any other interest. Gina, did you want my cat? Did you want the Italian cat? Was that for the cat? Yes, cat. Oh, no one tells me anything. Well, I mean, you got to kind of... I wasn't paying attention. Thank you, Gina. And I don't know if it's exquisite. It's it, it's kind of Halloween-y with like how pointy it is. And then it, there's a matching bowl with it as well. And my next item is this really tall crystal um, candle stick holder. So that's where you would put the candle. 
and then you would put the top like this. It was very like art deco, Hollywood Regency, and it's got roses with petals into it. It's like a frosted glass. Welcome back, Christy. And it's going to be a $40 start for this pedestal candle housing thing. Chris, and, and it was Mark Crystal at the antique store, so I'm not sure, you know, I'm not the gla glass and crystal, crystal expert. Sarah, I wish I would have pulled out the black piece of paper to stick in there so y'all could see it. Just so everybody knows, this is supposed to be storm really bad. Hasn't yet hit here, but it will. Yeah, we're getting we're expecting a tornado touch here. Yeah, Jonathan was in his basement earlier when he called us. Or had just gotten out of his basement. I don't know if you can see the pattern any better now. But it's just like starbursts and roses. All right. You have a set at new in box. I hate you, Dirty, so I'm jealous. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So the first thing uh, I'm going to show these weird things. These are two dolls. I don't know what they are. But. <gasps> and they're tall. They're like stick dolls. So their legs are stick and the bottom has a stand. They do stand up. I'm not at a place where I can stand them out. They, um, the only one, this one here, and if you know how to sew or anything, you can probably, it's got a little, you, I don't know if you could stuff that back in or not. So I'm going to start these two dolls at $12. Hi, now. Our best offer. They're very cute. You can use them for Christmas. You could use them um, for Valentine's Day. <laughs> and they are one of those decor pieces because on here it says made for Joanne. It's like Joanne fabrics. But no date on there. Sure. <laughs> I love I love putting this stuff on the shelves, like the quirky dolls and stuff. Mm hmm I love weird dolls like that. And they're wearing red and it's like almost like farmhouse looking clothes. They always make me think of that Elaine whoever from Mr. Rogers neighborhood. <laughs> Do you know I had a piece of artwork from Mr. Rogers? Neighborhood. Oh. And I sold it to somebody. I wish I didn't, but I did. <laughs> when oh. I did one of these things. So I have those if anyone's interested. They're kind of weird, but I thought I'd show them. And then the next is this owl. And I'm going to start him at 18. He's white with um, brown accents. It is from 19. So it says um, Hershey Hershey molds, and it has on here 1977. So I guess the molds from 1977, and Jane in 1980 painted it. And here's the bottom. <laughs> Is very nice. Oh, my incense is too close. <laughs> he's gorgeous. Yeah, he is. And he's twelve dollars. He's um. He's uh, I don't have my tape measure with me, so. I thought you said eighteen dollars. I did. You just said twelve just now. Oh, the dolls are twelve. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought that okay. Yes, yeah, you're right. You did it right. Okay. Yeah, this is eighteen. Mm 
very ni nice neutral decor. Um, oh, there is one little chip back here that you, that I must have just did. And I did by the wings. And actually, uh, just a little brown marker, and it looks fine. <laughs> Maury would like the dolls, please, for $12. Who? Maury. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hoo hoo. That's stunning, like up on a high shelf. Yeah. Some back here. All of it. Oh my gosh, my wire. I unplugged it and it's hanging here. <laughs> I picked up one kind of similar, but it was more like um of the tacky, like brown man looking ones. Mm -hmm. And my one of my best friend's moms like likes owls, so I just gifted it to her. But it was really cool. And it wasn't glazed, it wasn't a shiny. Yeah, this definitely has a glaze. The glaze is a shine, shine, glaze one. White, it's like an off white and then the brown throughout pattern on there. So pretty. And black ink glass. Definitely goes with like all the, uh, like, uh, macrame stuff, you know? Yeah, it's mid century looking stuff. Everyone's doing that bohemian thing. But okay, we'll, we'll pass on it. Okay, I'm putting Miranda up and then I'm putting you back up. So we're back in the right That's order. That's all right because I need a moment to get my stuff together. I'm fine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I just wanted to show Maury this real quick because she did miss it. This is a beautiful little How Japanese ironic. girl. Look at her comment. How ironic. <laughs> It is a $20, and this comes off on the top here, and you can put your perfume in there or whatever. You got to be gentle with it. It is old. I'm gently wiggling back and forth so I don't bust it. So she is, is so cool. I can't yeah. get over it. I'm sorry. I know. She's really cool. Yeah. And I could that be cool. all stuck in my head. So I do have that. All right. I'm going to show the giant piece of Finland pottery I have. <laughs> All right. This bad boy is a $30 start. He's huge. Oh my God. Giant baby. There's like foam and stuff in it, and so I just didn't empty it out. I just left it in there. Because it's it'll be nice when I have to ship it out and pack it. So here's the kind of pottery. It's very textured, painted, super nice. And then the bottom has a Canadian leaf, and it says Finland, and it's glued on, so I didn't rip it off. But under it, there are like markings and stuff. So if you do want to buy this, you want me to rip this off so you can see what's under it, I can do that. But I'm not gonna like rip it off and then re-glue it. So that's this guy. Let me tell you how tall he is. I'll grab my handy dandy tape measure. Tape measure. I almost fell over. Oh Cha cha. Teresa oh, you. to stop showing cool stuff. <laughs> it's twelve inches tall pretty big base. <laughs> I have to say that's a beauty with all that texture that adds value, all that color shading adds value, that, you know, tapering of the shape. It's really pretty. And it's from Finland, which is awesome. Yeah, Finland I think it's really cool. And Canada. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. You know what is you know the Finnish word for horrible? Horrible? Yeah. Is that it? Is it just horrible? No. It's yeah. Kamala. Type 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 horrible from Finnish <clears throat> 
and it translates. She is so beautiful. All right, Maury, you snooze, you lose. For my second, <laughs> for my second item, this is crystal. It is an eighteen dollar start. It is over twenty four percent lead crystal, imported by TM, art mark made in West Germany, and it is um, gorgeous. Etched. It's etched crystal as well, and it has a beautiful butterfly on it. And then there's what I just read. I've never seen that. That's really nice. And Carolyn Gramble says she just showed the auction to Willow Owl Seeker just in case she gets big owl pieces. I don't know if Willow does. Have you ever met Willow, Lucid? Um... No, but I have mailed a gift to her from someone, and I don't remember who purchased it. She'll say, oh, it's chachos. <laughs> She's a nice lady. Yeah. She helped me a lot with my jewelry. Aww. All right. Well, if there's no interest in those, that's my two, boo-boo. Okay. Cha-Cha, you not ready? You want? You sure you don't want your turn back? Yep, I'm sure. Okay. I'm a horrible friend. Hi! Okay, guys. This next item I have up for grabs. Oh, do you do you know New England Thrifter? Yeah. You do, Cha-Cha? Yeah, I know them from somewhere. Okay, you have their information? Oh, I don't know if I have their information. Okay. Maybe I do. I would have to look. I feel like think Christy, what? Helen Booty says 18. But I d that's New England Thrifter? Oh, so New England Thrifter is Helen Booty? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Oh, okay. Y'all got me so confused. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, my here, so. item is... Um, Oh, yeah, y'all are going to have to remind me of that, too. Later when I'm asking y'all, who's New England Thrifter? <laughs> um, it's a palm tree, fancy metal um, wall pockety thing, and it's got the little palm trees and the rattan, I guess, rope that's intertwined between these things. I guess that's just how baskets are made. I shouldn't have to explain that. Anyway, it is going to be... A $10 start, and it would look great on your wall if this matches your decor. And you can put anything your little heart desires in here. Ooh, palm tree wall pocket woven around the middle. I just scored this bad boy today. I was pretty pumped about it. But you know, I I'd like to think so too. Thank you very much. I forgot to turn off that very annoying light behind me. Let's try to cover it with this basket. It's not happening. I can't function. It's in a chasing war with a lizard. Oh, that sucks, Carol. I have a friend that has this all the time, and I know the meds on to prevent them are not fun to be on, and they're very hard to find the right ones. Okay. Um, and that's scary, too, by the way. Okay. This next piece is a beautiful piece of stone. Stoneware, maybe? It's got some little speckles in there. It might be ceramic. It's a piece of pottery. It doesn't have any markings except for the Sharpie from the store. <laughs> and it's got this um, character on the front. And it goes well with, like, you know, the stoneware type J Japan pieces. And it has a little spout on it and little indentions for you to grip it. I don't know if anybody has trouble gripping things like I do, but, you know. That's helpful. 
And you could always leave this on, um, you know, a windowsill next to an indoor plant or something with water. So you just have it there handy. And then you can put it back next to the seat. I know me, I forget to wa water my plants. And then, like, I forget to go to the sink and get the water and come back with it. And I don't know. It's just good to have it there ready to go. Anyway, this will be a $6 start. No trick, the cracks are crazy or anything. It's like that squeeze, the easy to grip. Um, I'm gripping it backwards. There you go. And pour type of deal. And if ever you ran across um, a cool little cork or something, you could just pop it in the tap. I'm like, it Let's see. And was that my second one? Yes, it was. So thank you guys for checking out my items, and I'm going to throw it on over to Tchotchke. Oh, Lana's in for six. I'm sorry. Thank you, Lana. We could sell it to Lana. I didn't see any other interest. So sold to Lana for six. Who's you lose some Mari? That's our saying tonight. Okay. <laughs> Here's Chacha. Hi. Okay, so, oh. Hi. So I have this, I believe this is um, part of, oh, geez. I see what happened. Okay. Um, these are household stainless steel knife kitchen tools. It's melamine handles and it has the cornflower um, uh, Pyrex pattern on them. And so you get the box and then inside it only has, it has four of these knives. So like, I guess to do cakes. That's what the back looks like. And the plastic is melamine and it's stainless steel. Oh, cake spatula. And they, they have the same Pyrex pattern as the blue cornflower or something. That looks familiar. So you get those. The tissue paper is kind of getting old. I might um, stick some more in there. But the box is a little um, torn up, but that's okay. It says on here... Um, Solid stainless steel kitchen tools with heat resistant decorated melamine handles. I thought there was something else I read. So there's four of them in there totally. Total. And they are the same size knives. And that's good. I'm sorry. Did I say a price? I don't think so. No. $12. Oh, nice. You even have the old box. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I bet that sat in their china cabinet and they never used it. <laughs> Probably. They were just collecting it. Very, very yeah, good. Mm -hmm. And then the other item I have is a brass apple. It's made by North Carolina, the brass, the Cape Craftsman um, in North Carolina, Elizabethtown. They do a lot of art projects, craftsman projects there. And um, this is solid brass, permanent tarnish free, and then you just polish it. So it is an apple. Oh, that's beautiful. And... I'm going to start this at 18, but I'm not done with it. So it's got the tag thing. Um, and then it's a lid, a jar. And it opens up and you got a bell. Stop it. <laughs> Who was that New Yorker that was always collecting the bells? I mean, the apples, not the bells. Jesus Christ. I forget who that was. And that's 18. 
So we got this for 18 and this for 12. And that makes a good gift for teachers because teachers hate getting candy, believe it or not. They always get candy. Always. You can send me candy anytime. Me too. I ain't gonna lie. Cookies. I like cookies. And these look like the same. I don't know if you've seen the marble apples. I have the red ones, but it looks like the same thing. Same maker. I have that blue apple with the brass coming out the top. I wonder if that's related to it, too. Yeah, that's what it looks just like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the same stem. I have two red ones. There's just some, like looking at it now, there's some scratches and stuff, but it says to polish it, just use a white cloth. Clean brass with damp cloth to remove any labels. What simply wipe with furniture polish. Labels will slide off. That's a new one. We should try that one too. <laughs> So do we have any takers on those two? If not, we move on. Hi, Lindsay Ann. Hi, Lindsay Ann. Show another one. Okay, so I have these two purple glasses. Um, they're the frosted, what are they called? Let me take that. What am I? And they're purple. Blanco or Blanco? Blanco, yeah. So it's they can be used as vases, put your plants in it, your cuttings. It's clear on the bottom and it's purple. The gold is pretty good. I mean, it's um it's not completely wiped off. It doesn't look bad. Really nice. Hey Christina, good to see ya. And I'll start these at eight. And these are the purple. The tall, like Tom Collins glasses. Hmm. I'm gonna have to Google that, Carol. Although I'm halfway reading the conversation, so I could totally not know if you're what you're talking about. Gina, Gina, Quintia. You can put a tea light candle in it. That would look nice. I like them too. And then that's a pretty I, color. Yeah, that's highly collectible, that brand. I had a whole set. I have um the faded silver. No, I think I sold that. I have the faded silver dishes, like dip jars or whatever. Mm -hmm. so those are those two. All right. Well, I'm going to pass it on over to Miranda, and I'm going to make you show three until you sell one of them. To each yeah. time. You. So get ready. Oh, my gosh. We gotta get your first sale. We gotta start. I already have. I had two sales. Oh, well, I, th I thought you see. I need to go to sleep, y'all. <laughs> Here's Miranda. Hi. 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 <laughs> All right. You guys have rings, and I have a ring holder. <gasps> Six dollar start. I had one made of crystal, but Jonathan bought that one. <laughs> Any interest in that, Pikachu? Oh, that's a big ass spider. Oh, don't tell me that. I'm even there, and you're freaking me out. Stop it. <laughs> it was huge. No, it was a it was a tiny little it was a minus minuscule tiny spider. 
It doesn't exist. That's how small it was. Any interest in my ring holder? Oh, there was. Oh, okay, no, just no one was telling me. So Maury comes in at six, and then Maury came in at ten, and then Michelle pees in at twelve, and then Maury's out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're sold to Michelle P. Let's see. So I have jewelry boxes and like wood boxes and boxes and things. Do you ladies want to see that tonight? I also have a Chinese writing box. It's really cool. I can um, let's do let's just do this one. A little bit of wood, a little bit of brass. Never hurt nobody. This is a wood box with a brass duck on top. Is a uh, Nesco wood box. And uh, he's got a suede lining on the inside. It doesn't need to be lint rolled. And I'll do this guy. Um, uh, we'll do a $15 start. And dude, if that's not man cave, I've never seen man cave. I don't think it's necessarily man cave. I just think it's really cool. It's a little dusty. It's definitely um, it looks like something in the dance. Jonathan Rosenfeld as that Ducks Unlimited look to it. It's yeah. very country too with the brass on wood. Ah. I think it's cool. Hi, Kim Julius. Nice What's up? Meet you. I have all these sellers. They're all nice ladies. Their links and stuff are down in the description. Um, this is Miranda the Rehomer. And What's up? if you'd like to participate in the auction, make sure to email us your info so you can, you know. And if you just want to watch and hang out, that's cool. But make sure you talk to us because we like that. All right, any interest on my brass duck wood box? Pretty cool. I think it's so cool we're passing, huh? They said 10 second lag. One, two. My foot's itchy. Yeah, I think we're passing. Okay. If you want it, just let me know. You better hurry because it's going fast. Okay, so I have this beautiful like um, tile with cork on the back. It's a ceramic trivet. And it's um, from an original boutique. So it's um, by this, like I guess... Boutique wannabe artist named Carol. That's kind of mean from New York. Carol Law Conklin. And it's um, Amity Farm Boutique. And there's a beautiful little sheep on it. It's got all kinds of colors and designs. I think it's one of the prettiest little trivets I've ever picked up. And I'm going to start this bad boy at $8. Because I like them and I kind of. I think my dad would kill me if I, like, silicone stuck this to the wall or something. And so it's got the, um, the sticker about the artist and the address and everything on the back. Sheep on too hot autumn day. A. A, that's the letter A, not the number two. 
Gina Fancy's in for eight. Oh no, it's hiding. You can keep citing comments again. I mean, Google, hold on. There you go. Girl, I saw your Facebook post. You have a um, very handsome son. Make a, him and his little wife are going to make a cute little couple. All right, we can start selling it to Gina if there's no other interests. It's really pretty, Gina. I think you're really going to like it. Yeah, I just put both RT because it's cute. I mean, you know, for me anymore. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Gina. Gina, Gina, Bobina. I think it was, Gina. I think it was because you just were too. Huh? Must have been the A. It was a hide or show, and Gina got it too. It's so confused. I say I say A yes like that, and it makes my dad laugh every time, even though he hates when I curse. Okay. So this is gorgeous Nightmare Before Christmas frame. They still have the paper insert, so I don't think it was ever used. Um, it's got the little like hooks to open and close and put your picture in. And it's a four by six inch. It says copyright Disney, T Disney, Tim Burton, Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is like the 20 year anniversary. And as you can see, that's Skellington is making all different kinds of little faces there. And so I don't know if we have any. I mean, I think everybody's a lover of the Nightmare Before Christmas, but I could be wrong. We'll start this bad boy out at $10. And he's got a little, oh, um, like ribbon on the back to hold the little easel back in place. I just like that it's 3D like that. And he's got all different facial expressions. Yes, I love it. And it's, 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 you know, it's not light. It's not cheaply made. It's a good little piece. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dina and Michelle. There's so many people that love Nightmare Before Christmas. I think this is going to be a seller regret one for me. Because, like, I think it looked cool at night to open your eyes and just see these white little faces. Yeah, That's and it probably if you shine your black light at it, it would. Well, cool. yeah, white always picks up black light. Like, it always looks purple no matter what. So it would look cool. Oh, and Michelle says it's all like Donkey Kong, Gina. Uh-huh. Gina said, then I'm out. I ain't gonna go no more if it's on like Donkey Kong. Them fighting words, Michelle P. <laughs> Thank you very much, Michelle. I'm excited to start your new box, and I'm gonna throw it on over to Miranda the Rehomer. Come on, girl. I see you sneaking in there back back there. Okay, here she is. Did you skip Cha Cha? No. Yes, god damn it. And I know she's here and I'm looking at her and I'm like, it's Miranda's turn now. Cha Cha go, please. <laughs> okay. I was just like that felt really quick. Um all right. Oh, I forgot the camera was off. I wish somebody else was driving tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a beaded wolf, and I'm going to start him at $10. And Poor dog, I guess. And he just sits there. <laughs> you could put some fairy lights in him if you like. 
kind of local. And it's all beaded on wire with like a amber color with the fluorescent. It's like a, the pink fluorescent kind of beads. Thank you, Michelle. That is so sweet, Michelle. Thank you. She bought that for Christy, y'all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that is amazing. Ten ten dollars. It is. It's, it's very cool. It's wire with um, um, an amber colored bead. So cool. With like an iridescent. The beads are like that iridescent. Yeah. That's like the stuff he makes some of that. Wow. Uh, Tell our jewelry with. That's so can. cool. It's a howling wolf. I just freaking love that thing, man. Thank you, Michelle. You're it. lucky Lucy came in because I was gonna. <laughs> We're friends, so you can't not bid because because of me. Well, I can't. I can't type, and so it just makes it a pain. But that's really freaking cool. When you get sick of it, you can just sell it back to me. It's okay. <laughs> it's probably pretty lightweight too, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those things are, are are like fancy people stuff. I mean, I don't know. I always see those out of state sales next to the fancy people things. <laughs> and you could put a you could put a light in there, like one of those light bulbs too. There's definitely. I'm gonna put some lights up in there. I would. Yeah. I would put those fairy lights. That would look good. Yeah, I have some that are shaped like tacos. <laughs> lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fairy lights. She said it would look cute next to when Miranda's showing the Howling Wolf. It would. It would. It's gonna look good next to that picture of a Howling Wolf Christy sent to me in the mail. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd have to buy. I'd have to buy another shelf to put that up in my house. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, somebody answer Gina and let us know. Oh, Lana, you got to come in at eleven because I'm at ten, girlfriend. <laughs> it might be on your end, Gina, because me it looks alright. What's she saying? My my picture don't look right. <laughs> she's playing like this stream. Like it'd probably be, I don't know. Just a hit and run hello, not feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Thank you. Oh, for hi, me, Elizabeth. For at least coming to hit the thumbs up and telling us, hey, girl, I hope you feel better. I think I need to give, I mean, Lana just bid. So do we have to give her time to? Come in again because the internet is being okay. There's a at 13. I'm coming in at 14. <laughs> what does Teresa say? It keeps freezing. Okay. Um, why don't you drop out and maybe it'll pick up my internet service? Okay. I'm gonna do that. Um I'm I max out at 15, so if I don't make it back in time. <laughs> oh, we okay. can wait till this is gone. Am I lagging? Do I seem to be lagging? No, you seem okay. On my end, it's storming here, but you still going. Hmm. Um, oh, okay. So the next thing... Oh, well, I don't know. Did that sell yet? <laughs> oh, I guess I can watch the show. Yeah, Lana got it. Uh, this is set out because she wants 50. Okay. Yeah, 15 was my max. Oh, oh, wait. That was wrong. We didn't sell it yet. It's still going. It's still going. Here it is. 
Helen, hey. Helen, Helen. I'm going to have to keep calling New England Thrifter Helen so I don't forget. Helen just snagged it. I don't blame her. That thing's lovely. It is. And he sits. He goes, ah, something bit me. <laughs> I tell you what, the gnats have been bad around here lately. And my neighbor swells up really bad when she's she gets bit by little bitty gnats like me. That I don't even feel that. I can't stand gnats. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm. I'm so sorry I didn't notice that we were all on screen. Still in your thunder. I should have put um, New England Thrifter, but I just put Helen. Wait, okay. we're sold to Helen Boutte, the New England Thrifter, for $16. 16 for the. Okay. The Wolf Dog Coyote. Whatever. Yeah. Congrats. That was a good, a good. Thank you, Helen. Do you have Helen's info? Yeah, yeah, I believe okay. so. If I, I don't Helen. know, Miranda does. Oh, yeah. she said, invoice me, send to Elizabeth, please. Oh. Me? No. Oh. Oh, that is too nice. Oh, thank you, Helen. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Was that two? That was your first, huh? Third. Why do you keep thinking that? <laughs> I don't know, because I didn't sleep. Oh, the first, like, first thing I'm selling? Yeah, yeah. the first thing I've shown. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's <laughs> Good Lord. Thank Get it together, so ladies. Oh. Get it together. Get it together, boo. Hey, Nancy. So I think I'm going to show, what do you think, monkey or, I'm going to show the turtle. So I have this turtle bank. Oh it's my God. vintage. He's got the power flowers. It, it has a bank and it's Japan. He is so cool looking. What is he made of? And he's a bank. It's almost like a paper mache, like That's a light air Oh my god. That is awesome. Thank you. That stuff is. How much was your start on the Tripoli? Um, this ten dollars. Wow. And it has the hole to do the bank. I love that it has a pop cap. No, it's like a. Um... It's like a light. Paper mache, like an air clay. If if you've ever picked up that Mexican folk art type of stuff, you know that's yeah. not quite clay and not plastic. It's like paper mache. It's like a like a you know the squash that they they harden and empty out and put beads in. It feels like that almost. And see the paw there. The paw is a little um, dented there. You can touch it up with some neon lights, but. Me, I mean, paint. It looks like he's got a hole in the bottom and he still has the stopper, too. Yeah. yeah. Now, this, now, I know because I have another one sitting here, the stoppers do dry rot. Like, the other one I have, it is a little dry rot. It still sits there. So, if you are going to save it to put your money in it, you may want to get a different stopper. And you could pick up stoppers, like, replacements at, like, Michael's Crafts or Joanne Fabrics. And go over to where the bottle corks are and stuff, and you should find one. Yeah, I could see that. It looks like Mexican art. Or just a piece of cardboard over top of it with some tape. <laughs> I like the, the corks they have in the hardware section at Home Depot. They're like 25 cents for a bag. I have a bunch of it, yeah. I used to make little necklaces and stuff off of them. Oh. It looks heavier, but it's really good at this lightweight because shipping, shipping will be a lot less. Yeah, these are light. Hey, Patty Paws. Hi, Patty Paws. He just makes me want to go turtle, turtle. 
I did sell, I had three of these and I sold them, but the person never paid. So I canceled it. So this is a resale item. Oh, I remember that. Uh, is that your only turtle left? Of this? That looks like this? Yeah, there's only this. Oh. Oh, I have um three others. I have two others, but they're not turtles. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like Lana's going to get it for 10. It doesn't look like there's anybody else interested in us. All right. And oh. you know what? Oh, geez. Sorry. <laughs> I dropped them. Um, under a black light, this would look cool, too. I love him. He's like, look at my butt. Look at my butt. <laughs> look at my butt. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> Who did it sell through Lana? Okay, you know. Okay. That one there. And then the third one is the monkey for ten dollars. And he is. Aww. And he has the stopper, and the stopper is um a little dry rod. I still have it in there, but and then there's what the inside kind of looks well, you can't really see it. This one says Taiwan and it says 1973. So I wonder if like uh, you would get the it's like a thin porcelain, like really thin. Almost like a chalk plaster. It's pretty cool. So did it not have it stopper? Or no, yeah, this, is, this is a stopper, but it's just a little. It'll be a included, bit. but I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hers so cute. He won a race with the hair. Blue and pink. He's got blue. Of he's blue, and then he's got a pink shirt on, and then holding an orange heart. Oh, yep, yeah, there. See the, the thing keeps topping out. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick it in there. Well, is this nose a heart too? Oh no. Yeah. No. I don't. No. It could be. Yeah. Such a cute tiny nose. If anybody's born in the year of the monkey, is that a Chinese zodiac, or did I make that up? No, I think it is. It's 1973. Those of you born in 1973? I was born in 1972. <laughs> Same year as my brother, 72. And the rain. We're getting the rain now. So we can go ahead and Pass it or did someone get? No, nope. we can go. It's okay. And my palm. I'm sorry, what? You my dropped palm my hand is running out and it's raining little cats and dogs, like literally. Oh, God. I can't hear you. What? Her Pomeranian wants out and it's raining cats and dogs. Oh, uh, well. Just show her then. She won't want you to come back in. Yeah, she'll turn around. <laughs> hey, hey Hey, boo. Hello. I have an itchy eyeball, apparently. This is a set of three Home Co. Um, pixies. It's a $15 start. This is the pink one. She's like pink and purple. Don't mind that noise. The green one. And I'm gonna sell them as a set. If you want me to sell them individually, I can, but I figured it'd be better to do them as a set. And then the orange one. Christy, I think she had to let her dog out. I'm typing it in for you in case you had to go let the dog out. Go let the dog out. Ooh. Ooh. Those are cool. You get three for $15. Some people pay that for one. Those are adorbs. I'm trying really hard not to drop them. 
what you do is you prank your friends and you go put those in their window at night and make it stare at them and when they pop their eyes open in the morning And then you hurry, as they're running around the house, you hurry and take it away. Helen's in at 15. Oh, Denise, I love pixies. Lana, you gotta come in at 16. Lana has a fairy garden? My mama does too. I my mama was sorry. My mama was born in 1970, and so was my dad, and so was my stepdad. They're all the same age. It's really weird. I bought your other pixie, huh? Yeah. Yay! So, Lana, you have to come in at 16, boo boo. Okay, Lana's in at 16. I just got coffee all over my shirt. <laughs> Helen, the New England thrifter, is in at. Where, oh no, Lana's in at 16. She's power bidding. She's like, I'm gonna beat you, New England thrifter. So, yeah, that that's not a power bid. She went from 15 to 16. Well, she was technically at 14 and jumped. She was already at 15. I don't know. I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just uh, actually just wrapped up home and stuff. It's over there on the camera. Just let us know when you're out, ladies. If you want me to show them again, I can. They're not small. Like there's, there's, they're not big, but they're not small. They're like a substantial size. You know, like a, like a fist, like a fistful. That's what you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys want to see my Buddha? You can't have him because he's already sold. <laughs> Ian. Ian tells me, like, me and Ian hang out, and then at the end of the night, he's always, you know, I like you, Lucid. Like, he changed his opinion on me or something. And <laughs> every time. It's hilarious. I love it. I like this ball. Okay, so Helen is out. We are sold to Lana for $16. Cool. That's that's what this the start originally was. So good job, guys. Good job. Lana got it right. Did I go crazy? Caroline has a question above. Oh, here it is. Oh, that'd be a question for Cha Cha. Cha Cha. Thank you. Caroline has a question for you. She might be up grabbing something. I'll ask her the next time. No, I'm here. Is okay. We'll answer it in the chat. Damn. Oh no. Oh no. No, you didn't. You I, can't, I can't type, which is why I usually talk. I, can't I know type you guys. Either. Whatever. You're always set up. This is a crystal pair. It's a fifteen dollar start. It does have a space for a spoon, but I don't have a spoon for your jams. So you can have fancy jams. Or you could do like more in the photograph and put fairy lights inside. That is true. My true God. beans. Because the thing can come out of here, the little the thing. You know what I mean. You you know what's up with my brain. Oh my yeah, mine didn't have a thing like that. But my mouse is acting up, so I'm really scared right now. If I fall out, that's why. I think it's crystal anyways. It could just be glass. It doesn't have as long of a ring. But that could be because there's like a little hole. I don't know. Anyways, it's very cute. Any interest in this guy? I can't I can't take Lana's comment off the screen. My computer's just click on someone else's. I know, but my mouse is flying around my screen right now. It's out of control. It's got a mind of its own. Yeah, it's just, I can't. What was Maury saying 24? 
Maybe the um pair. Maury is twenty for the pair. Oh my god! How we? It's like I click on something and then my mouse jumps away. It's like no. You might need to update your browser. <laughs> I know. I didn't know our updates and people yell at me about that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the pair's going to Mori then. Cool beans. Okay. Oh my god. Is it really bad? Really bad? break it first. I always wrap crystal up immediately so I don't bust it. I like to bust things. All right, for my third item, since Cha Cha got a third item. Oh, she she said we're doing three items now, Miranda. Cha oh. Cha. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I'm running around my office working. It shows. It shows. I'm a non pay attentioner. This is a wood plate. It's a $10 start, and you can hang it on the wall if you want. Yeah. So Apparently, Tina, he changes his mind every night about how he feels about me, and then I change his mind back. <laughs> it's got a lot of really nice texture. Ooh. And color and stuff. How big it is in front of my face? Design my face. I got it with all the Japanese and India stuff I picked up. I don't know if it's from either of those, but I have a lot of really cool stuff back here, but I can't show it to you all at once. <laughs> all right. Let me know if anybody wants this wood plate for 10 bucks. Thank you. Was that a long enough wait? I don't know how long I was supposed to wait. More is in for 10. Okay. Oh, Maury, check this out. I haven't priced it yet, but it's really cool. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. It's really cool. Really cool. You believe me? Check this out. This is from India. And it's, a, it's a purple glass bottle, and it's got metal around it with these stones and then a lid. And this is like heavy glass. It looks like it's plastic, but it's glass. Isn't that cool? Don't worry, she has a turn coming up, you guys. <laughs> well, I wasn't planning on showing this tonight, but I can. I just freaking love this thing. Yep, see, now people are asking about the decanter. Here we go. Okay, my next item. Up for bed. Sorry. Yeah, it's cool. I mean... Is this little big owl and he's pretty. He's rainbowy and he's sequiny. And you can make his sequins go up and down like those kids like to do with their stuff. And he's got green glittery eyeballs. And he's a hooter and he's made by Lindsay Toys, L I N Z Y. And. They're stationed in California, but it's made in China, and it's filled with polyester fiber, and it's going to be a $5, $5 start. Just look how shiny he is. He can shine your face. I know, she teases people. I am a tease. <laughs> Don't tease us. I can't help it. I just wanted to show you guys. I wasn't planning on showing it tonight, though. But yeah. anyway. It's really pretty. We're going to train Miranda to show her things on her turn. <laughs> I did. That was my turn. I did show no, her. No, your turn was over. Whatever. I just wanted to show her. Look, girl, at the end of the sale, I'll leave you on and let you show all the shit you want while I go and sit down and relax. I promise you. <laughs> no, I just wanted to show that one thing. I promise. <laughs> Girl, well, five, I'm, six. And I'm picking on her because I love her. 
but I was going through the video the other night to see like make sure I got the right dresses to the right people because I wrote it I wrote down crappy descriptions looks like we're sold to Lana for six dollars thank you Lana and thank you ladies for your bids and it'd be like 30 minutes and then it would be my turn again and I'd be like you know three minutes and then Miranda would be like 20 minutes again and then I'd be like 30 minutes and I was like oh my god it's really worse than like I thought but like half the time I'm looking at her stuff not even paying attention to like See, I don't think I take that long I think I'm quick I'll show you. I'll share screen after, and we can watch it and laugh together. Oh my gosh! I know I take that long sometimes because I talk a lot. Okay, so this is a musical snow motion water globe from Disney's Tim Burton, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I believe this is the 25 year anniversary one. Um, and you don't have to shake them like I just did, but. When you wind them up, the snow blows around by itself. And it's got zero. And he's pulling, then he's got the sleigh with the um, skeleton reindeer. And he's the star chat, $20. He's heavy duty, man. I'm sorry, Michelle. I didn't mean to put you. I want to say these are, are these Swissy Park ones? I want to say they are. No, there was some, that's not these, it's something else. Okay. And then there's Jack driving the sled. And he's, he's a good, like he's a, a full-size snow globe. He's not a little bitty and he's not a big giant. No interest in the nightmare before Christmas. If you change your mind, just do that and I'll see it. And then my next, I don't know. That was my two. That's my two. Thank you. Let me know if you if you saw anything you like. Okay, cha cha. Okay. Okay. So next up, I have a, a Dorothy Thor Thorpe Silver Fade Caddy and Server Roller Set. So comes with the caddy, and then this is the silver. Got it. It has that modern look, but it's vintage. And so these come out. These are to hold your condiments or olives or whatever. Besides needing a wipe down, it, it appears to be no cracks. Oh, Michelle, peace. For, is that for my snow globe? What are you selling Dorothy Thor for? What was your price? 24. Okay. I think Michelle wanted my snow globe. Sorry. Hey, I had one of those the other night. Aren't they cool? These are, this is by Dorothy Thorpe. And it's called a silver fade. Well, yeah. that's what I was telling you. I wasn't sure if it was Dorothy Thorpe or not. You can tell because um, Dorothy Thorpe has this light kind of look, and the other one has like a straight line. Oh, it fades. That's how you tell. Cool. The light definitely faded, so I hope whoever got it looks. Yeah, I always go. I have a. I'm a part of this group in Facebook called "Is This Dorothy Thorpe?" and people post pictures of like glasses that they think are Dorothy Thorpe, and people tell you yes or no. Okay, thank you, Michelle, for letting me know. Teresa's in at 24. That's lovely, in it? That's gorgeous. Yeah, that's very, 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 very mid-century. Like, that's, yep. that's the poop right there. 
Yeah, they used to make fancy schmancy stuff like that in Hong Kong. Oh, Caroline would like you like to know if you mm, hold orders to ship out or if you ship out right away. Um, I usually when I invoice you, it's already packed up to um, ship whenever you pay it. So as soon as I get to it, like the Pyrex sale I had took me forever. Hopefully I finish. I think I have a couple people left. But yeah, I can ship right out. I can ship out probably in 24, 48 hours. And then, unless you want me to hold it. That's what she's asking, if you will hold her, hold stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and fill it till it's a good amount. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just shoot her an email and reminder. Who was it? It's Carolyn Gramble. Um, oh, okay. Because, like, a lot of times I forget who tells me what to hold. So we're going to sell this to Teresa for thank 24. You. 24. Teresa, thank you. Oh my God, Teresa, I totally forgot. Your claws came in today. Thank you so much. That was super, super, super sweet of you. And here's <laughs> that's a good. That's a good set right there. Yeah. Teresa's asking if you got her payment today. I did. Thank you, Teresa. I've been kind of distant away from everything. I was going to go on later, but uh, I ended up doing some things today. Yeah, she's up late Thank last you. night packing. And it's like when yeah. you start to make mistakes, then you know it's bedtime. You're like, oh, I, I kept dropping it. glass last night. Oh, my gosh. I was like, I have to stop. Yeah. Nothing of yours yet, Teresa, though. <laughs> Okay, so Caroline Gramble says, Thank you, Cha Cha. Will you add the $12 cake spatulas to my order, please? Sure will. Thank you. Goes to Caroline. Thank you. Lana says, Congrats, Teresa. If you can't, I'm like reading the chat like they can't read for themselves. <laughs> And Teresa is getting this one. Teresa for 24. Thank you. And that was still your first one. Yeah. And here yet is another one. This one's a hen. This is great for jelly beans. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is 10. That's a cute trinket dish. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Yellow inside. Definitely very kitschy. Very folk party too. I like that. Let's see. There's just a few little dings here and there that can be easily touched up. I could touch it up for you before sending it to you. <laughs> I got all the paints. <laughs> yes, Lana. She has she has like 500 bajillion pyrexes she's been working on. That's what we were just talking about. It's it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of packing. So she's got a pack to calculate your shipping. Yeah, I think I have. Um, why was it? Yeah, you're on the batch tonight. I forget why. No, I thought I sent it. Hold on. Now I got to go look. <laughs> Jane is in for 10 for that cool, cute um, hen on a nest. Would anybody like to battle Gina? Wow, wow, that's lightsaber noises. She was like this with me last night, too. She's like, I swear I packed your box, I gave it to you, and I know I did. It's and over here, like the last box she looked at. 
Yeah, I just I sent out a whole bunch today, and I have a few bigger orders done. And then, um, Lana says she can understand if it's taking you long. Yeah, that was that was a long one to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still not done. Poor Gina. <laughs> and Gina's like fencing. She's got the sword out. Uh, she's like tackle. Are we working tonight, Gina? We're gonna rip some tape. Melanie! Hi, Melanie! Why, why you always gotta be like, Gina, we're gonna rip some tape like I'm chopped liver? <laughs> F you, man. Oh. I'll, rip, I'll rip tape by myself. Hi, Melanie. I miss you, Melanie. Good to see you. Y'all go subscribe to Serendipity by Melanie if you haven't already. And I've been watching you on Instagram. You got some really awesome stuff. Let me see where my chat went. What, how much was it? Ten dollars. Yeah, I have your address. Um, no one passed out. Did someone take the the hen? Yeah, Gina. Oh, okay. So I sold to Gina. You want to do a collab again? Awesome. Um, and then I'm working with Teresa too, so maybe the three of us can do one as well. And. Uh, I have one with Cha Cha on Thursdays. I collab with Miranda on the what? I don't know. Tuesday and Friday. Yeah, technically. And then, <laughs> so yeah, so like, that's why I'm worn out all the time. But definitely, I'm gonna get a calendar. <laughs> and we'll start scheduling things. So that's old Gina. Thank you. Great stuff tonight, Cha Cha. Thank you. I just came down the basement. I'm just pulling stuff out of my box. So if you guys need anything, let me know. I'm down in the storage area. I can grab it. She's got a store there, you guys. She's got an antique store. So, <laughs> All right. And here's Miranda. Am I going in the wrong order again? Please quit looking at me like that. It confuses Is me. Isn't it your turn? I thought yeah. I was Is it my turn? No, you did go. I Maybe it is my turn. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you go after. This is a ten dollars start. It is a bird pot 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 or plants planter, bird planter. Bird planter. <laughs> <laughs> what is how hmm? oh. That beautiful texture to it. Oh, I found chocolate. It's planting season, ladies. Just use some bird planters. Yeah, you get them while the getting's good, or it's too hot. Ah, it burns. <laughs> Miranda was so tired. Miranda went to bed last night. Elizabeth was so tired. Lana. Woe's me. Everything's harder for me than them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dude, she okay, so this this is just how this is how, just how she is. Like seriously. Like she's you're so you're so sarcastic that you sound serious. <laughs> like, and she'll be like so like Attitude. I'll just say attitude. Yeah, or like I'll get really pissy at somebody, and then they'll be like, "I'm sorry, I offended you." And then I'll be like, "I'm offended. You thought I was offended." <laughs> it'll be hilarious. I think you're a shit starter. <laughs> a little bit. And then this is also a bird planter, but this one is twelve dollar start. Little love birds there. Love the colors. See, the first one had me thinking canary. These look like purple. They're like parakeets. Oh, jeez. They had some cockatoo ones. What? Quintius says, well. Oh, I thought she said, well. And I was like, all right, well, well back to you, girl. How you doing? Well. Hey, Pat. Quintilla likes the lovebirds. 
So I said that, like her invoice, like, you know, like I like to send them out every night because I get confused if I don't. She paid like that. Like, I don't even think I refreshed the screen. It was like sent and she must have had her PayPal open. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> she was ready. Just yeah, she was waiting by the phone. <laughs> All right, so that shit to Quintia. Girl, you want the other one too? You like birdies? This one's just 10. You got both. You got both of them. Two for 20. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could do that. Oh. All I know. Loving you is a losing game. I can't get that damn song out of my head. I swear. Everywhere I go, that song is in my head. Oh, I dropped my fork. Lana B. by Bobana, honey. I think you're going to have like three boxes. Don't be, don't be mad at me. This is a $12 start. It's a little ceramic squirrel that was hand painted and made in Japan. With the big eyes. <laughs> Fat, you are quick. And the little Japan stickers right there. Yeah. What am I getting? She said, get it. What am I getting? I think she's just cheering you on. Maybe she's. At the um, two for 20 part of the stream. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was like, did I, did I mention something and I'm supposed to show it? What was it? <laughs> All right. So this was 12 bucks. If anybody wants him, he is a beautiful Japan squirrel. Is That's it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> thank you. Fitz and Floyd plate, you guys, from 1995. Um, every time I've ever found Fitz and Floyd, it's been, like, horribly disfigured. But this one does have little, like, um, places, little rough patches. They're not really missing any ceramic. Um, let me see. Point some more out on the tips of this green here but um it's a very nice plate it was from 1995 and it still has its sticker on it, it says fits and floyd in the back that's that good stuff right there y'all and i guess i'm gonna start this one at 10. it's a good plate i'm telling you you gotta love it and it's got like a little lip on the bottom to make it stand act right and so yeah fits and floyd if you're a reseller it's a good brand to look out out for when you're out there in the wild and that's it i can't find my pants lucid pants i'm very upset by this oh you're lucid pants <laughs> oh no, laura I still have a dress for you, but I was too lazy to take pictures of the other medium-sized dresses. But I'm going to send it to you and one of these days with a drawing, maybe. So be prepared. Okay, ladies, I have some extra large pops. Um, yeah, it's a good brand. And I believe this is an extra large. I have to look on the inside tab. And yes, this is an extra large. And I believe it is polyester. I'm always looking at the wrong tags. Okay. No, 100% cotton. And I like how it's kind of almost like a tunic style. And it's got the little daisies or whatever that flower is that you blow and make wishes on. 
and it's got really pretty buttons. It's really nice, well-made piece. Um, this is printed on. It's not like embroidered fl flowers, but it's, you know, like a light um, type of fabric. And be good for the summertime. And it's a bluish gray. Oh, four dollars start. I didn't say. So I guess I can just do a few in a row, dandelion. So that's number one. Number two, this is an extra, and make sure you put the number of the item you want with your bid. Um, extra large as well. It is a pretty button down, um, like I don't know, white shirt with a print on it and i really liked the print and i was like i would wear that myself so i picked it up and let me look on the inside to make sure see if there's a tag i know one of these shirts they cut the tag out because you know size doesn't matter if it's this but, no it does not have the tag but my guess this would be a, like a 1x to 2x shirt it's beautiful. It's a nice light airy shirt. Okay, Laura's four for one. Maury, you want number two. So Maury's four for number two. So these are bids. So you guys are welcome to bid against each other. Just remember to put the number of the item in the chat. This is number three. It says it's an extra large to me. I know, you know, these are pretty worn. So I would say it would probably fit maybe a little snug. If you're like a true extra large, but it is Tommy Hill figure. It is um got these little cup sleeves on the side. It's collared. It's a button up, and the print is just lovely. It reminds me of I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's little strawberries, and so that's number three. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vintage Conversation. And this is New York Laundry. This is a size 2X. It's 100% polyester. And I love the loud colors. That's what drew me to it. And then it's got this, like, knitting down the side with little metal attachments and little ties at the bottom of the quarter length sleeves. Very, you know, another light piece so that it's not heavy for the summertime. Did you say New York Laundry? Or what did you say? Yeah, New York Laundry is a brand. And it's a 2X. 100% polyester. So you saw, so that's one piece. That's number four. Okay. And these are all the same for, uh, starting bids, guys. They all start at four. Is that what I mean? Yeah. And then um, this is Bobby Brooks. It's a size extra large. And it's a beautiful, I think, like Aztec looking pattern. It's really pretty colors. It's got like turquoise and coral and reds and blacks. And it's one of those like scrunchy side shirts, but it is very long. Like I'm long waisted, so I need longer shirts. So if you're like that. And um, I guess I'll stop there. That was a good bit of shirt. Okay. I'm going to scroll up and see what we got going on here. So I see Laura wants number one for four. Okay. I guess I'll add this with your choice. I think Laura got number one and number three. Okay, I'm just gonna go down the list where I get confused. Yeah. Lori's got number two. Number two, four dollars. Um, and then Lori got number three. And is that right, Lana? 
you would have to put the number of the item you're bidding on and bid a dollar higher than the previous bidder. So two, shirt number three is Laura, it looks like. Can y'all bid quick because I'm moving. Okay, shirt number four, I believe. Wait. No, no, no. Laura, you wanted four, not three, huh? No, you wanted three, not four. Okay. Um, and then I see Teresa for number four. Number four is one, two. It is a two X. Yes, ma'am. A pretty um, like bright colored one. And do I see anybody else for number four? No. So number four is sold to Teresa. My computer just did that all by itself. My hands are way over here. <laughs> and did anybody want the number five? Maury. Number five. Number five. Four dollars and yes, three was the strawberries. So I got Laura for one and three, Maury for two and five, and Teresa for number four. Oh, uh, Lana, you're a second too late. It was so I had sold it to Teresa. Don't worry, I have more shirts coming. Okay, and here's Cha Cha. <laughs> Okay, so I have uh, these white cat figurines. It's made in China, it says. And I'm going to start this at $8. That's very nice. Very cutie kitty cats. Just a little wear on the edges, but still really cute. Yeah, they are cute. Oh, yeah, luxurious lashes for sure. <laughs> yeah. Hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> Wait, I right. also have a red ashtray. Laura said, Tell us more, Maricha. What are their names? Oh, the cat. Um, Polly and Percy. There you go. <laughs> Just a couple stray cats. <laughs> oh, Willie and Wonka. <laughs> Something with that Eight dollars. All I could think of for the cats' names is Matilda and Jane. <laughs> I don't know why. This is a red ashtray. It looks kind of orange in this light. Oh, yeah, because I have the light shining on me. It still looks freaking orange, but it's red. It's like a ruby reddish color. But not exactly too dark because you can see through. Oh my gosh, it's still showing. It's red, guys. <laughs> it's not orange. At least my camera's showing it. Is that way? It looks red on my end, like ruby red. Oh, okay. So I got these two guys, eight dollars. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh. Don't, Carol says. <laughs> Carol's making Homer no noises. <laughs> and that's my two. All right, so. Hey, I got to run to the bathroom really quick. I'll be right back. Uh -oh. Okay. Hi. So next up, I have this. It look, I guess it's, I don't know, color box. It's got the two little dots on top of you. So maybe that's another language for color book, but I don't know. I don't think so. And it's a pattern pack. So you get all different types of little pattern papers. If you're into junk journaling or scrapbooking or mixed media, I don't think they use very many of them and the pages are going to fall out if I flip through them like that. So I see one here that they cut. Um, but otherwise it's pretty, pretty dang cool. And then I think that as a bonus, they left you a piece of black felt in there. So, you know, there you go. Hey. So I'm going to start this out at $5. And on the back, they have some like ideas and they show you how to get started. And, you know, they tell you like layouts and research and planning and balance and repetition, emphasis, space, and color. <laughs> and so as you see those little patterns along there, there's the different types of paper. Maury says ashtray. Did you get more for the ashtray? Um, oh, yeah. Chris got. Okay. Cool. So, um, uh, uh, I don't know if y'all see the book. Probably so. Lana's in for five. Woo, Lana, gonna cry. I wanna see your projects, please. Don't worry, your art will outshine mine. And they have an exclusive step-by-step -step project guide if you download the free mobile app, just so you know. You could like have many Lana. One night you can come play art games. Yeah, that would be fun. Lana, you can yeah, start one of, the, one of the words could be wallpaper, and she'll have her. You could start selling it to um to Lana if there's no other interest. I was like, this is either going to be a hit. I really thought it was going to be a hit. But Lana's got that crafty stuff. All right. And then my, that was my first thing. What was the last thing I shared? Yeah. Okay. Um, I do have more shirts, but I'm going to go ahead and show these two beautiful made in Japan stoneware mugs with these giant, beautiful blue flowers. Oh, this looks so pretty. Um, it's a set of two. They have crazing, light crazing running through them. No chips or cracks. Well, actually, there's some crazing on the handle there that's not so light, but you know, it's not like cracking. They've got the little blue Japan stickers on the bottom. Somebody wrote in Sharpie, but I'll try to get that off for you. And I'm going to start the pair off at $8. You can see the little stoneware specks on the inside. And they're stackable pretty well. I guess we shouldn't stack them since they're kind of old, but really pretty pieces. Kind of match that tonal tonala look, but not it's definitely not Mexican pottery, but I mean, you know, the floral thing theme and the colors. I got you for the vintage paper, Lana. Thank you. Or the paper craft book. It looks like something that would be on the Mary Tyler Moore show. These mugs? Yeah. <laughs> to me, yeah. it's just the brown and it looks very vintage. Yeah. These are the, of course, I've said this a million times, but they kind of like to pick up the old Japan mugs. Yeah. 
I could see that being Mary Tyler Moore's pup pen. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can type pass in the chat if you see that this on the screen and you're not interested. Let me know and I will move it on along. I don't think there's... Well, if you decide you would like these pair of mugs, you may battle it out in the chat. May the odds be forever in your favor. <laughs> Miranda, are you back? Are you... Yeah, I'm putting my phone up right now. Okay. And I I thought these were going to be a hit. Okay. I have weird face, y'all. There you go, Miranda. Thank you. That's not too weird, y'all. <laughs> Hi. All right. There's only three things I haven't shown tonight, so I'm going to show those. I assume that we're probably going to end soon, aren't we? Yeah, um, yeah. This is Hallmark for napkin rings. They are by Betsy Clark. It is a $5 start, and they look like precious moments. Let's do this round, and then we'll show what didn't show. Okay. I'm not sure what they're like made with. How much did you pay with the napkin ring for? Uh, it's a five dollar start. Okay, that's open. Yeah. And they're like a thick plastic. Beer holders. Those are the fairies. The little. I, yeah. Beer holders. They remind me of lemon head. Oh no, tomato uh, uh, She Laura has a good idea. Beer holders, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, Christy, is that you with the tornado warning? Mm -hmm. Yes. Girl, seek shelter on an interior room of your home. I live in Mobile. <laughs> yeah, like, I live in Oklahoma. I'm not scared. <laughs> This is a uh, TB Potts Walpool, Maine. It's a six dollar start, and it's like this weird pottery thing. What did you call it? Pottery I don't know. What it is. Yeah, it's like a. It looks like a sachet, like you would put potpourri in there. Is there an opening or no? It just has holes. Yeah, it just has holes. Oh no. How much for the pottery? Um, those look like boobies, don't they? <laughs> no, it looks like a flower to me. Like a girl. It's like that. Uh, it's a six dollar sort. Oh skin. god. Now I've got some different imagery. It looks kind of like a pillow, kind of like a bow tie with the flower. Oh. Yeah. I was thinking like a flower. <laughs> I have to cover this screen now. Because I'll start gagging. <laughs> There's that guy. And then the I'm third thing that I picked to show today, but I haven't shown what is this guy. And his sticker fell off. Here it is. He is an $8 star, and he is just a nice little piece of glazed pottery, a little pottery vase. Kitty. Yeah. That is not a bra with boobs, Laura. You know it. You're a bra with boobs. All right. If those don't interest on those, those are my those are my last three, and then I'll show everything that didn't pass later. All right, girly. Is it? It. Me and then Cha Cha. It doesn't matter. Cha Cha <laughs> and me. What did you show last time? 
I need help remembering, guys. Okay, yeah, I can go. Oh, this is good. I got some chocolate right here. All right, so I have um my monkey here. And that's ten dollars. And then I have this um, little hot plate thing, and that will be four dollars. You still have another round before you show your what didn't sell to you, by the way. Okay. So you can show a couple new things if you'd like. So I lowered the tray to four dollars. And then I have the monkey. And he's ten. And I'll show this one, which is the brass apple. It's by uh, the craftsman in what did I say, North Carolina? In North Carolina, this is Elizabeth Town. I think it was. A little bell. And I can start that at 15. So we got 15, 10, and 4. Um, Caroline, I will remind her when she's up. To show you. And we can, if anyone's interested, they could just let me know. That was all your things that didn't sell? Uh, no, I got a few more things, but. Do you want to do a round of new things? Did you want to show anything? Are you good or what? I can next turn. Okay. Okay. I'll put you up again. Okay. Okay, this is going to be my last round before I show you guys what didn't sell. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show the rest of these shirts here. Oh, remember to type the number of the item in your bid. They all start at $4. So this is number one. You would do 1-4. If you wanted to bid against somebody, you would do 1-5, etc. So this is a size extra large Rebecca Malone. It's a, like a navy blue with a coral hazy looking pattern around the top. It's, um, it's very cute, I think. It's got this extra material. I don't know if, if people with big boobs need that right there, but it put that inside. And I wasn't blessed that way, so I'm not sure. That's number one. And that's by Rebecca Malone. This is number two, and it's by Arata Silent Journey, A-R-A-T-T-A. -T -T -A. I'm not too sure. I don't know if I've ever heard of that brand. This is oh, a plus small, really? Huh. A size small, and it is a very like light linen fabric, like almost. It's good to go out in the gar and garden in this type of thing so you don't put yourself too much sun. There's the back, and it's got some decorative buttons on there, little metal buttons. So, really cute top, I think, personally. And that's number two. And number three, I just thought this was cute. It's a size extra large 16 slash 18. It's by White Stag and it's like a um got all this pink floral embroidery. It has a little beading on there and it's a button down light linen vest. It goes white pink embroidery. And that was number five. And then number four is this lovely shirt. It is a size petite extra large. So I guess that's for someone with like a shorter waist um, or trunk. 
I'm not too sure. I thought the colors were gorgeous. And this is by Figoria and Flower. It's an extra large. And one, two, three, four. And then I have these three. Um, they're kind of like moo moos, but they're just the the top. And they're kind of also like scrubs because they have pockets. Um, this one is purple. It's a size small. So just type purple with your bed. This one is green and orange. And it is a size. Hard to see. Oh, it's a size small again. And I think that it could fit someone larger than a size small like it's it's pretty it's a it's a wider you know length and then so just type green for that one and then red with your bid for this one and this is i hope they're not all oh they're all size smalls bummer i was trying to get all the like you know larger sizes because they're harder to find cute things sometimes Anyway, that's that. Okay, we got Joanne for number two and number four, <laughs> and then Gina for five and six. Number two for four, and Gina six. You want the purple or green or red? You want all the moomoos? Okay. All moomoos. Gina. And then, so the only one that didn't sell was the first shirt. So I can show that again if anybody's interested. It's almost like a t shirt. Um, Rebecca Malone, extra large, and it has this pretty coral tone to it. Yeah, all the moomers. Okay, and I have another one in my card. You know, I'll throw in with that for bonus. Okay, nobody interested in number one. Cool. All right. Miranda, you want to show what didn't sell? Mm-hmm. Bye, Flora. Number one is this uh, Finland pottery. It's thirty dollars. It is twelve inches tall. How much was the pottery? This one is thirty. Tall. That was number one for thirty. Number two is eight dollars. Oh, I was supposed to remind you, Caroline wanted you to give her a piece of the crystal pedestal bowl. Um, yeah, if I can get it out, I can show her. Number three is six dollars. It's a little pottery ravioli thing. That's what it is. Number four is a bird planter. This one is 10. Number five is this uranium um, custard glass. It's $20 and it glows super bright green. If you are interested in it, I will shut my light off again for you, but. So Carolyn mentioned Great point. You could totally use that ravioli as a flower frog. Mm -hmm. Number six is twelve dollars. It is a Japan squirrel pottery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven is five dollars. It's the Hallmark Betsy Clark napkin rings. Number eight is the beautiful Japan lady. She is a cork top. You can use her as a perfume bottle. She is 20.
And then the last thing that I have to show, I believe, is a wood box. It is by Inesco, and it is $15. It's a wood box with a brass duck on the top, and then it has a suede inside. Those are all my passes. All right. You're, you're learning quick, man. I know you really are. Hmm? You're learning quick with all this vintage stuff. Ta -ta. I keep telling everybody I'm a quick learner. Nobody believes me. That's what everybody said when I started showing, uh, selling stones and crystals. Well, I was a quick learner, but I had to do it on my own. I didn't have people to hold it up to the screen and ask what it is. But <laughs> Yeah. I still love you. This is, um... Well, no, I'm not saying that I didn't have help. Yeah. Like, even, like, Gina and Laura and, like, buying stones, like, that helped me with that. And then you and Cha-Cha have been a tremendous help with knowing what is what. <laughs> yeah, Cha-Cha's an excellent Cha-Cha does not have her, second, her last round of things she hasn't shown yet. So I'm going to let her do that and then show the rest of what didn't show. Okay. Quintia yeah. was... Quintia was the 20 for the little Japanese lady, just or was it for the uranium glass? Just put Japan or uranium for me, pretty please. I think it was for the uranium glass. Quintia, where you been? I've been showing uranium custard glass all week. I missed you. Are we ready? Okay, so I have some vintage truck bars here, and I'm going to be showing, what did I just do with them all? There's not all of them. <laughs> Where did they just go? Oh. Uranium, Miranda. Quintia, I got you. Thank you. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five scarves. They are the Midwest um, scarves. So, um, they're, they're going to be $15 a piece. So, I'm going to start with what's the first one? Kansas. I think this one's okay. Nope, that's Nebraska. This is, I got Nebraska, North Dakota. Missouri, South Dakota. Where is the other? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where are the other ones? So this is the one I'm going to start at. The, um, this one's actually going to be $10. This is Kansas. And the reason it's $10 is because it has gotten ripped. But the picture's still good. Um, these are great if you want to put wall art. These are hand-rolled silk scarves. And this one is Kansas. And there are 32 inches by 32 inches. So the Kansas one is going to be $10 just because of the rips. But you can still use this if you are going to put it on your table. It's got great colors. Some you can hang it. those too. Yeah, you can hang it um, as curtains. You can also wear it. <laughs> um, there, it, you can also use a tablecloth, maybe wrap a gift in it. So that one would be $10. And then the rest are going to be $15. Did you take Utah out for me? Or you haven't gotten to Utah yet? Uh, Tracy said 15 for Missouri. For what? Missouri. 15 for Missouri. The truth Missouri. The show me state. There's Missouri. Curious, does it say the show me state on there? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Let 
I know I saw it. I thought it did. I think it's in the corners or something. I don't know. But there's Missouri. It's right, it's right above the, where it says Missouri. I think it says Show Me State. And there, I mean, there is some wear to these. These are old. And they need to be hand washed. I didn't want to, because I have so many of them. Looks like there's a little, it looks like they tried to repair it. Yeah, sometimes they start to run like pantyhose. Yeah. They bunch up. Not sometimes, a lot of the time. Even the Italian scarves, they do that a lot. Do you have a Michigan scarf, Lana is asking? Michigan? Um, a lot. It's hard for her to. Yeah, so to, I'm just going to do the Midwest this time. But I think I do have Michigan. Because I broke it up by regions just so I don't overwhelm everybody with all 40. <laughs> Michigan is the Midwest, right? Well, it's not on this for this list. Well, let me see. Maybe it's east. I don't know. Miranda says I need to look at a map of the U.S. more often. I can tell you if I have it. And then they're asking for Illinois as well. So Illinois. this is what I have. I have Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, and South Dakota. Oh, you're getting confused with Midwest and West, I think. I don't know. Are all those states considered the Midwest still? All in Tornado Alley. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. I didn't take geography, by the way. Did uh, you say you said trace of one in Missouri? Yeah. Yes. North Dakota and South Dakota. I think South Dakota might be a little bit, but it's uh, like Ohio. They get tornadoes there. Wait, I don't understand. Okay, Lana says, okay. you have a Michigan scarf. Can you make um, 10 then? Let me know. Okay, I'm in no northeast. Northeast. So, um, Lana, when are you doing your scarf sale, your big scarf sale? Um, I, I can look after this is done, and I'll just check. I, mean, I just got to see if it's here. What is it she wanted? Um, Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, I'm not sure because I'm going through each bag because I separated them so it was easier. So I'm not 100% sure if I have Michigan or not. Wisconsin. So I don't take up their time. <laughs> I have fine, this, really. This is um Nebraska. And then <laughs> she says she's fine. She can make <laughs> I love this one. South Dakota. I might keep this one. Yeah, that's pretty colors, very vibrant. The yeah. and another cool thing you can do is either you can tie them from the beginning at the top. Like this, and you can hang them for your curtains. Um, also, throw over your lampshade, but you can also attach them by corners and attach them, which is what I wanted to do with like my screen. You know, I got some curtain things that are just hoops with little like clips on the bottom, so it doesn't yeah. hook into the fabric, and that would be good too. And then I got this one is oh look, it's ripped. Um, um, it's so delicate. This one is, what is this? This is that, North Dakota, and that has a rip, too. I swear it didn't have a rip a minute ago. <laughs> but what you can also do is either fold them up and put them in a frame. And, girl, people still buy that online like that. Those oh, are yeah. Awesome. Well, there's this one girl who takes them, and she, she backs them with, like, a cotton fill and makes pillows oh. and out of them. So... So that's South Dakota. I love those for my for my masks. Um, and and they're silk. They're hand rolled silk. And then, right, Nancy agrees. They get fragile over time. They're still great to frame. Yeah. From this overstuffed house. Hey, girl. Nebraska. The corn huskers. Yes. Hi. <laughs> 
I do have a lot. I, I finally, because I was figuring, how am I going to be able to show all this without, like, um, you know, everyone yelling out the states and stuff? <laughs> and so I was like, I'm going to just break them down. And I'll show a little bit at a time, like, if I come to something like this. Um, so um, I made a checklist so I could see which ones I have and write down the condition. So when I'm done this, I can look, well, Michigan, I'm not sure I can do, double check. It was Michigan. And what was the other one? Uh, Illinois. I think I do have Illinois, I think. And I want Utah when you find it. I know you have it. Unless you're going to be auctioning them and then wait to bid against people. So is that it? Is anyone else interested in one? Girl, I love all of them. If I was a rich girl. <laughs> and I'll, um. You know what? I'll take Kansas. You want Kansas? Okay. I'll get it for my dad. He really likes Kansas. Yeah, she did have Utah out the other night because I got mad at her for not having Louisiana or Alabama. So I was like, you better, you better have Utah. Okay. This is which one? Kansas, which is red. I have a lot of red ones. When I say red, it's like the trim. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you would have had Alabama, it probably would have had Bear Bryant on it. It would have Well, had I'm not a hundred percent sure because that's why I'm going through them all again to make sure I have so I can say to you, yes, I have that one or not. So I'm making a list. And this is as far as I got. <laughs> Lana says, Georgia. Georgia. That's loose hips here. Girl, you better. All right. Yeah, I'm getting nervous. So I am going to, I will show these like on Instagram and stuff. And um, also, I get, I'm going to do the vintage sale this week. I just wanted to make sure I get the list done first. So it's not as confusing. Yeah. In Georgia? Oh. But uh, on Instagram, or you can message me and I'll check it. And yeah, go from there. But I do have 40 plus. I found some that I didn't even know I had. Like, look at this. This one is a vintage scarf. This is by Nick, Nikki Ritchie. G Gina probably knows her. She's a famous design, fashion designer. It's not the greatest pattern, but um, it's definitely like she stopped making them, I think, in 1960 or 70. That's like one of the things I hit, hit up first set of state sales is the old lady scarves because they're just so nice. You can't get them like that anymore. And I'm definitely going to be... Um, Taking these and putting them in a, a bag so they stop ripping and stuff. So, but I know I got to show them. And I was thinking about just laying them on the board so I could just pull them. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Well, let me ship your thing tomorrow. I know I keep saying that. I'll pack it tonight, ship it to you tomorrow. It'll be there in three days and you can hang them on your scarf rack. <laughs> okay. So I got Lucid for 10 for Kansas and then Teresa of Missouri for 15. Um, she did make the, the Kansas was in bad condition and she did make it $10, Lana. Um, but the ones that are in not bad shape, she's got to keep at 15. They're really worth a, you know, more than 15. That's some cool ones. But maybe she'll change her mind later. Give her some time. That's, that's it for that. Okay. And did you finish showing what didn't sell? Oh, yeah. I can show you what I didn't. I can put these back here. Um, what didn't sell is my owl and my cats. Ashtray. Oh, did more get the ashtray? Who? Maury. Oh, she did? Maury did? I want to say she did. Am I tripping? I don't know. Okay. I think she did buy, well, she bought the ashtray. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. I didn't see that. So, okay, Maury. Okay, so I have the kitty cats. They look nice with the purple glass. And then I have the owl. Yeah, Teresa remembers too. Okay, cool. Kitty cats. And I think I have the cats. I don't know. But I had it. Oh, $8. I'll do these for six. Holy crap, that's a good deal. I'll do those for six. And the cups. I'll do the cups for six. I didn't know Vera made scarves. And uh, how much was my owl? 18. I'll do the owl for 15. Teresa wants the cats, please. All right. Thank you, Teresa. And she was very excited because she typed it too long. What did you say? Whoa, she wants the cups, too. That's why she typed six two times. Okay. Okay, Teresa, six for she two types. of them? Yeah, yeah, I got the yeah. cups and the cats. She probably heard me get confused. She probably heard I got excited or she got excited and then there was a lag and then I brought it up later. I'm always screwing things up, Christy. I need to be quiet. Mm -hmm. I and I can't stop talking. Okay. Joanne was asking, do you have Vera scarves? What? Vera scarves? Vera Bradley? I didn't know she made scarves. So apparently she does. Joanne was asking. No, I don't. I have lots of scarves. Besides these vintage ones, I also have a lot of nice ones that I may give up. No, I missed that. Sorry. Uh, Helen bought an owl. I didn't see Helen buy an owl. Maybe she did, but I don't remember that. <laughs> Who bought the owl? Helen, remember? are you still here? I'm sorry, what? They said they think it was Helen, who was the New England thrifter, but I'll, I'll, we can look back and see. I don't remember it some, but maybe. I know somebody was talking about looking for Willow or letting Willow know about Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, I don't think it's sold. Um, they bought from me. Uh, the wolf bead, the beaded wolf. Uh, yeah, I'm jealous. Okay, so all no, it's going to you. So all you have left is your owl. Y'all think real long and hard about that owl before we. I got my owl and my apples. And her apples. And my monkey. Okay, what did not sell for me tonight? I had these two set of two Japanese stoneware mugs. Um, I don't even remember what I had on them. I think I was asking eight. I am going to ask for six if anybody's interested. Six dollars for the pair. They're very pretty. Um, what else did I not sell? What else did I not sell? I get so distracted sometimes. Oh, this down here. So I have a Fitz and Floyd plate. I have a hand painted plate from 1971 and it's signed by the artist. And then I have this um, kind of handled Noritake plate and there's the marking on the back. And um, let's say Seven. No, no, no. We'll do five dollars. 
we'll do eight dollars and we'll do ten dollars on the fitz and floyd if anybody's interested in those and then i also did i show that i thought i don't think i said that okay i'm trying to just make sure i recapped everything i mean i do have that one shirt yeah gina got the moomoos i have one shirt that didn't sell no Lena, i do not baby i'm sorry but i will look for one Teresa, the five is for the plate ice cream thank you ma'am and so I still have this size extra large Rebecca Malone shirt that did not sell. Oh, and this basket did not sell. It's a palm tree basket with wicker and you can hang it on your wall. Um, leave it by the door. I don't know. Put, do whatever you want with it because you're cool with that. And how about $10 for this bad boy? If anyone's interested. 10 and 6 and I think that's it for me you guys I want to say tonight was very successful for, for, for us it was a lot of fun I could keep going I know I feel like that too but I can't but who was asking about okay somebody asked about a Vera Bradley scarf but I did find a Vera Bradley it has a tag on the inside. Um, glasses holder for like reading glasses. I don't think these hold full size glasses, but I mean, if you're interested in that, let me know if anybody's got some, you know, cheaters that they need a case for. And all right, I wanna thank you guys so much. I'm gonna bring us all up here. Miranda, you got any last things you want to show? I don't think she showed her no. stuff she didn't sell. Did she? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh. I did. Um, Michelle <laughs> said the owl was passed when she looked up at the review. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, Thank you, Michelle. So I can uh, give everyone a preview of what's on my shelves, but I don't want to show anything else tonight. Oh, I wanted to give something away tonight. Because I never do that. And I was waiting for 500 subs, but like I'm stuck at 4.30. Vincent Vera <laughs> Newman scarf. Oh, Vera Newman. Okay. I'm dumb. Sorry, Joanne. I was like, I didn't know she made scarves. Vincent Vera Newman. I'll, I'll write it down and take a walk. <laughs> Not that I have that, but. We all have to stay. <laughs> or you all have to say. Vera Nelman. Okay. Bruce <laughs> is like, stay, Tata. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to write a number down between, let's see how many people are in here. Miranda, do you still have oil and vinegar with holes on the bottom? Lana is asking. Yeah, the candle holder. We're all three lights away. Oh. I didn't get them yet, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. You'll help me a lot. Everybody type a number between 1 and 40 into the chat. You see your um, number duplicated. They're 10 bucks, Lana. They're 10 bucks. One, if you see your number duplicated, it's been taken by somebody first. You need to put in a new number. Repeat the price. I think I muffled you out. And I'm going to write my number now. Well, um, you want to wait till the giveaway's over before... Or, I mean, wait for her to sell that first so the numbers don't get your, your numbers are coming in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't know that was going on. I just well, it's it's ten dollars. Just put a price in like a little price symbol before the ten if you want it, or just tell me sold if you want it. Lana says, okay. Yeah, it's the number one, 37, 10, 29, 19, 5, 16. 
uh, something 10, um, 33, 33. Anyone close? Yeah, we've got somebody who's close. Um, and if you type in more than one number, you're going to be disqualified from the giveaway. But I don't think anybody in here acts like that. So it's all good. Well, I'm not checking for that. 45? <laughs> Lana, between 1 and 40. <laughs> you your number. I know. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I feel like I have to wait for Lena to hear me say that. She was just asking about how much the thing you Okay. So I'm going to do the closest without going over, which doesn't really matter this time. Oh, Quintia, you pick the same number. Pick a new number, baby. And then... um. Why are you calling everybody baby? <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm nice. I think I think it's cute the whole hunt. Okay, so no, Lana, 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 one number, baby, between one and forty. <laughs> oh God, you can just let her stay like that. That's fine. Okay, everybody <laughs> got their numbers in. I guess just use her first number. <laughs> okay, so my number that I chose was number eleven. And the closest to number 11, I believe I saw a number 10. And that was typed in by Caffeinated Christy. <laughs> it was oh, Yeah. Was that your number or was that somebody <laughs> you typing in? That was, that was 10 for the, the set of oil and vinegar. Oh. I, gonna... <laughs> I didn't pick a number. <laughs> so who's closest to number 11? That's your pen. There's a fly on my face. I see 16 is the closest. Six is six closer to 11 than 16. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh no, you can't go over. So, Quintia, if that's your only number you entered into the chat, you're going to be the winner at number six. Yeah, because Quintia didn't. Cool. So, Quintia, I'm giving away this Noritake plate. Um, if it's really, really not your style, I can find you something better. I mean, something you prefer more. But it's really pretty, and it's got the handles, and it's hand-painted and stamped and all that goodness. So, you have tonight's big winner. Yay! So, if you guys hang around to the end of our, our live sales, you know, Stuff like that can happen. Or maybe we'll throw it in the middle. Okay. Miranda, whatever you needed to do, I'm sorry. Go ahead and do it. They already did it. She bought it. It sold. Okay. We're multitasking queens here. Okay. And I'd also like to say um, Christy does a lot for us. Um, you know, she's she's going through a lot right now. She's taking care of her dad. Um, so if you guys could show your support by like maybe checking out her, you know, eBay shops and her Macari and her Poshmark and and sharing them with your friends and stuff, that would be awesome. We love Christy to death and we like to help her any way we can. And yeah. So her oh, all her links to that is in the in the in the description. All of her links. Caroline, peek at what? Please hit thumbs up. How close are we in the show? No, don't thank me. Thank you. Oh. Unless you're thanking somebody else. Then you can do that. No, I was just saying thank you for spreading the word. Give me a shout out. Oh, yeah. No problem. Can you the link? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, this is her YouTube, so you guys can subscribe. She's got quite a bit of subscribers. So that's Christy's YouTube. And then here is her Macari Poshmark. And then I'll throw her eBay in there last. And 
but they they are easier to click in the description because it did like a dot 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 on one i don't know if that's still gonna hold as a link yeah it does okay cool hey chris who might never see anymore how you doing um all right so yeah y'all please go check her out share her out um let your friends know about it one of these days we're gonna get her to do a live sale we love you guys thank you for coming um any last words anybody else Thank you, and we'll see you. Thank you. Bye. 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 And Teresa, message me about the next time we sell together. Love y'all. Bye.